Student J and I will show you around. There's all these cute little shops and they're selling wine and all kinds of like homemade stuff. And today is super crowded because it's Sunday. So I will show you. So they have all these like homemade jams. That one's peach. This looks like maybe apricot. Lemon, orange, this not strawberry? All these things are like homemade. Uh, this is like blackberry something, pomegranate sauce, all kinds of like blackberry juices, homemade soaps, some earrings. Oh, ice cream. Another thing I don't eat, but... Shop. I will show you. Guys, this is a Turkish delight shop. If you don't know what Turkish delights look like... These are all <laughs> different Turkish delights. They have chamomile tea, jasmine tea, all kinds. Tam tam teşekkür ederim. Bu zerre üzümlü bir lokum. İran İran üzümü bu. Huh, guys, this is like an Iranian Turkish delight. I'll try it. Sugar for it. This is zerre. Oh my god. Actually, it's really good. Yeah, it's very delicious. One more bite. Ah, okay, okay. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. It's so good. Where's my face from? My face is all red. Oh my god. Guys, that's the shop. Turkish delights were amazing. So delicious. No, no. It was like, no, don't try those ones. Yes, you are so cute. Hello, little puppy baby. Oh my god, he's adorable. You are so cute. Yes, you are. You know you are so cute too. Look, look, look, look, look. The whole vlog will be the dog. Oh my goodness. Oh, such a puppy. The mosque right there, you can see. In like the center of the little town. They're making Turkish coffee in the sand. Yeah, yeah. Ah, every table does it. Nice. Look at all these little like village houses. Little slippers and firewood. This is really like a sleepy little village with cats looking for food. These are the houses in Shirinje. They have this kind of unique style to them. And they're all situated on the mountain, so they just kind of like slope up and down. Okay guys, this is the panoramic view from Shirinje. This is the real panoramic view. It's so cute! Oh my gosh, you can see like the style of houses, they all kind of look the same. And it's on this little mountain, which is like, some of the houses are obviously run down, but it's so cute, oh my god. 
It's such a sleepy little like village. It's so cute. This is really cute. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's one of those wishing wells or something. But I think it might be closed. Oh no, it's open. <laughs> Hey guys, we just came inside the church. I will show you around a little bit. I'm not sure like any like how old this is or when it stopped being used because there's not many like plaques saying so, but it definitely looks quite old. But it looks like it's been restored. It's really cool. There's like that little upstairs area there. So guys, these are apparently the original doors of the church. I don't know how much of it you can see because it's so dark, but yeah, they look pretty old. Okay guys, that's the view from the upstairs really cute. Okay guys, so we just walked around up the mountain a lot and I will show you like this is the view from where we're at at the moment and this is the like little cafe that we came to and we just got our traditional Turkish tea it looks so good making gizlami with like the real fire and rolling it out by hand. okay guys so we are leaving Shirinje and I think we're gonna go to the like Mother Mary's house or whatever. But the interesting thing about Shirin Jay is that back in like 2012, this place was, what was it? Like everyone thought in 2012 there was gonna be an apocalypse. So Shirin Jay was like one of the only places on earth that's like exempt from the apocalypse. So this place was like, all the hotels were completely booked and full and I'm not sure why but you can like check it on Google that during the apocalypse in 2012 was it 2012 yeah, yeah. like the Mayan calendar or something everyone fled to this village because there's some like urban legend that says that this village is gonna be safe from it I'm not sure why but guys check out these socks oh my god <laughs> I think they're all like handmade. I used to have a pair of these I bought like five years ago here. But uh, they're 10 lira. Which ones? Oh my god, maybe this one. No no no, I should get a colorful one. Oh my god. Okay, I have to choose. I have so much like homemade stuff. Guys, I ended up getting these ones. They were 15 lira, which is like nothing for this like homemade high quality socks. See, it's got like red, blue, long. I'm so excited. I love them so much. And we just came to... Oh shit. I'm such a shitty vlogger. Just came to this area. I'm not sure what this area is. Is this a church? Check it out. Guys, it looks like it's another church. This is all the details of <clears throat> the old church. Mm, so pretty, oh my god. Hey guys, we just arrived to the Mother Mary's house. Am I saying that right? Mother Mary's house? And they have this sign. So it's saying that like, you should be kind of quiet when you're going inside. You shouldn't talk too loudly or anything. So. I'm gonna avoid speaking too loudly, but this is where we're at. And 
Mother Mary's house is just like in the woods a little ways, so I will show you guys. Okay guys, so this is, it looks like a water cistern. Is this, oh God. <laughs> Hmm. It looks like an area where there would have been water at some point. And it looks really old. So it says this place is considered to be the last home of the Blessed Virgin, the mother of Jesus Christ. So this is her last home. And I will just quickly do this. If you guys want to pause the video and read about it, you can do that. Okay guys, so there's no photography or cameras allowed inside, so I can only show outside. That is the Mother Mary's house, and they just have like a nativity scene here. So I can't film inside, but I will tell you about how it looks after, but this is basically the view from her last house. Guys, there's like a little natural spring here. I don't know it has natural water. Let's see. Oh, yep, it really has natural water. That's really nice. So we just walked down some stairs. Her house is literally right there, but they have these little like, what is this? Like, you take a tissue or a paper and you like write a wish on it. And so everyone has a different like wish on this wall. This is from like thousands of tourists from all over the world. They come here and put their wishes on this wall. Okay, I think I can kind of vlog now. <clears throat> I can be a little bit louder. I just want to tell you guys, like, the energy inside the house was very, like, calm and... Yeah, it's very emotional inside the house. Like, there were some people praying, some, like, nuns. Yeah, yeah, it was very, like, high emotion. I think it's because so many people have, like, prayed there and gone there for you know <clears throat> religious reasons so collectively it's like a super emotionally charged area and the house itself is really small actually it's not that big but it was really nice inside even though I'm not really religious it still was nice to see that area <laughs> We just came to this cute little like cafe. It's in front of like Maryam, Mother Mary's house, and we got Turkish coffee. And yeah, this is what Turkish coffee looks like if you haven't had Turkish coffee. And I'm drinking mine without any sugar. And it is good. I like this Turkish coffee. Actually, it's really good. And I think now we're going to go to, what is it called? Seven Sleepers Cave. Seven Sleepers Cave. Cave of the Seven Sleepers. Which I don't know what that is, but it's pretty close. So, we will see. We just came to the Grotto of the Seven Sleepers. And I honestly don't know what that is. But, we just came like, we're walking up this hill. We literally just arrived. The er entrance is right there. But so far, there's all these like really cool wish trees and people have like tied their wishes, like the ribbons on them. So we're just gonna keep walking up this hill and see <laughs> what we can find. 
Let's see. Okay. <coughs> Just going in. I don't know exactly like what this is because again, there weren't any signs and the internet doesn't work on this mountain, so we couldn't Google it yet, but... Okay, some sort of historical old house. Oh, cool. What is it? Well, that obviously looks like it was a tomb. And then inside, what do you think that probably was? More tombs or... Also, it's, this is really close to the city of Ephesus, the really ancient city, so I don't know if this has any connection. So this is kind of the location, and it looks like it goes up, up here as well. We'll check it out. Alright guys, so there's a fence here. Like, you can't get into the, the grotto. And Halil just jumped under the freaking fence he's inside taking videos for my vlog <laughs> I hope like nobody comes and kicks his ass but oh my god okay we'll, we'll see you guys look at this look look at how freaking imagine this before like before it was all destroyed and stuff like look at this just left the grotto of the seven sleepers and it was so cool I think that was my favorite one today the grotto what was your favorite Miriam grotto grotto was the best that one was so cool but I'm freezing I don't know if you can see if you can tell from outside but like my hands are so cold my face is all red because it's cold so <laughs> We are just gonna head back to Izmir and I'm just gonna end this vlog here. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!